सो हेलो एवरी वन फॉर द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन आंथ्रोपोलॉजी सिलेबस एस्टडे आई गेव यू ब्रॉड आउटलाइन ऑफ पेपर वन सिलेबस एंड पेपर टू सिलेबस कंटिन्यूएशन टू दिस सीरीज कंटिन्यूएशन टू दिस सीरीज टूडे इज द लेक्चर टू इन द लेक्चर टू आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द आंथ्रोपोलॉजी पेपर वन यूनिट नंबर वन इन विच Eight subunits are there. One point one, one point two till one point eight B. So one point eight, one point eight is archaeology and one point one is anthropology, meaning nature and scope of anthropology. The introduction of anthropology is one point one, and one point two is relationship of anthropology with other disciplines. One point three is branches of anthropology like socio cultural anthropology biological anthropology linguistic anthropology archaeological anthropology is 1.3 and 1.4 is about the theories of organic evolution and 1.5 is primatology so now i will be entering into the deeper parts of the unit number 1 as i told you everything the units i will be explaining you in the nutshell so this particular series will be helpful for you as a revision for the new beginner to understand the syllabus before entering into the course or before joining any of the coaching institutions or any of the course or anywhere any any else it's up to you but it will give you minimum knowledge it will give you a a, a it throws a light into the subject that light will make you to swim into the subject so today i am going to enter into the subject of paper 1 anthropology unit number 1 so as i told you unit number 1 1.1 to 1.8 topics are there units are there in that 1.1 is meaning of anthropology scope of anthropology nature of anthropology three topics are covered in this meaning of anthropology meaning of anthropology scope of anthropology and development of anthropology so who gave the definition of anthropology aristotle is a person who discussed about the subject called as anthropology and he is a person who gave the definition of anthropology what is the scope of anthropology holistic historical developmental and the nature of the anthropology so what are the characteristics present in the anthropology what it deals about so that is 1.1 unit so 1.1 unit of anthropology unit one of paper one deals about meaning nature and scope of the discipline of anthropology who is the anthropologist discussed who is the person first discussed about the anthropology is aristotle so everything starts with the aristotle in 1.1 so first we will understand the meaning then we will understand the scope then we will understand the development of anthropology how the development of the discipline had occurred what are all we are going to discuss in anthropology will be discussed in the 1.1 itself so 1.1 is meaning scope and nature and development of anthropology meaning scope and development of anthropology scope we have to do with nature nature is not there but you have to cover the nature also that is 1.1 1.2 unit 1.2 unit relationship with other disciplines as i told you relationship with other disciplines means anthropology relationship with social science anthropology relationship with social science with social subjects with sociology what is the relationship of anthropology and social sciences similarities you have to find differences you have to find who are the thinkers exclusively present in social sciences and in anthropology so the relationship between anthropology and sociology is the first topic which is social sciences and the second is behavioral sciences which means psychology what is the relationship between the anthropology and the behavioral sciences means what is the relationship between the anthropology and the psychology why because in anthropological thought in the unit 6 topic 6 there is a school called as culture personality school culture personality school is also called as psychological anthropology so how it is related here so those points also you have to add here what are the similarities between the psychology and anthropology what are the difference between the psychology and anthropology you how you have to make a time table that is the second third life sciences means the biology the zoology that we will be studying in the life sciences evolution of man evolution of life 
evolution of life on the earth how it is related to anthropology in anthropology we will be discussing about the evolution of man so when we want to know the evolution of man we need to know the evolution of life so life sciences studies about the evolution of life and anthropology studies about the evolution of man so what are the similarities between both of them what are the differences between both of them we will be discussing in this particular topic and medical science diagnosis treatment precautionary measures these all things will be discussed in medical sciences epidemiological point of view means health and disease point of view anthropology is epidemiological anthropology whereas medical science means modern science whereas anthropological medical science means mainly with respect to primitive science primitive medical systems like ayurveda so the relationship between both of them the similarities between both of them the differences between both of them we will be understanding in this particular medical science the next is earth sciences archaeology geology when we are digging up based upon the law of superposition if it is early if it found in the very near when we dig if it's very near then it means it's recent one if it's very deeper inside it is very older cultural remains so geology here the earth sciences geology the atmosphere the geography the environment the relationship between the environment and the culture why because anthropology is the culture and the earth sciences is environment the relationship between both of them humanities political science history economics what is the relationship between the economics and anthropology political science and the anthropology history and the anthropology these three are present in anthropology so you have to establish the relationship between the subjects you have to establish the relationship between the these subjects commonality between the history anthropology commonality between the economy and anthropology commonality between the polity or political science and the anthropology so that is humanities so it seems to be six topics but deeper we have to go into the subject we have to find the similarities we have to find the differences between the two disciplines anthropology as one discipline and this all are another discipline 1.2 1.3 talks about sub branches 1.3 deals about sub branches main branches of anthropology their scope and relevance anthropology is a branch in which there are branches are sub branches are there the main discipline is anthropology in which there are branches are there so the branches of anthropology are socio culture anthropology means whereby we will be studying about the culture society marriage family kinship socio culture anthropology that is one particular branch of anthropology nothing the summary of unit number 2 unit number 3 unit number 4 unit number 5 of anthropology unit 2 3 4 5 of paper 1 is socio culture anthropology biological anthropology unit number 1.7 of unit 1 of paper 1 9 10 11 11 together is called as biological anthropology or physical anthropology archaeological anthropology 1.8 b of paper 1 1.1 of paper 2 is archaeological anthropology branches understanding from the cultural remains we will be understanding from the cultural remains we will be understanding the tools the cultural remains is archaeological anthropology then linguistic anthropology unit number 7 linguistic anthropology unit number 7 the language studies the relationship between the language and the culture see my language depends upon my culture if i am from slum my language will be rude if i am from posh means there is some influence is there there will be some influence of where we are coming from what is our culture what is our way of living this all environmental factors will affect the language which we use that we will be studying in linguistic anthropology who are the anthropologists sapphire wurf hypothesis is a part of linguistic anthropology social context of language use is a part of linguistic anthropology the relationship between the language and culture is part of linguistic anthropology so these are all the branches 
the summary of those units are social cultural anthropology the summary of those units are biological anthropology the summary of those units are called as archaeological anthropology the summary of unit number 7 paper 1 is linguistic anthropology then 1.4 human evolution and the emergence of man starts evolution of man starts from here the first is biological and cultural evolution biological and cultural factors in human evolution so how biological changes are happening parallelly how cultural changes are happening just establish a flow chart the biological evolution the cultural evolution the relationship between the biology and the culture biological and cultural evolution both are intertwined both are going hand in hand both are interdependent theories of organic evolution pre-darwinian theory darwinian theory and post-darwinian theory so darwin is a center point before darwin after darwin pre-darwinian darwinian post-darwinian before darwin pre-darwin what are the pre-darwinian theories nearly six to seven theories are there you have to remember those six to seven theories and coming to darwin theories three postulates and two assumptions are there in darwin's theory the natural selection the biggest concept of the man is given by charles darwin in this darwinian theories then post darwinian theories after darwin what are the theories which came post darwinian theories then it is not there in the syllabus but you should also do about neo darwinian theories also neo darwinian theories 1.4 in this the theories of organic evolution post darwinian is synthetic theory of evolution what is synthetic theory of evolution there are some terms are there with respect to evolution like dole's rule cope's rule gauss rule parallelism convergence adaptive radiation mosaic evolution these are the terms in the cultural evolution so these are all topics we will be discussing in 1.4 biological and cultural evolution of man pre-darwinian darwinian and post-darwinian theories synthetic theory of evolution and dole's rule cope's rule gauss rule parallelism convergence adaptive radiation and mosaic evolution 1.4 Then 1.5, primatology, primates, primatology, primates, characteristics of primates, what is primate, monkey is a primate, chimpanzee is a primate, man is a primate, it's a question, man is a primate, question mark, previous year question. That is the benefit of anthropology. No need to dig inside. Just understanding characteristics of primates. So whether man is a primate, it is a question. Whether chimpanzee is a primate, it is a question. What are the characteristics of primates? Biological characteristics, behavioral characteristics. Biological characteristics, behavioral characteristics of primates. Evolutionary trend and primate taxonomy. There is a big classification is there. Old world monkeys, new world monkeys, primates, living primates is divided into two primates, extinct primates, living primates, within the primates, old world monkeys, new world monkeys, within the old world monkeys, again we have divisions, lesser apes, greater apes and humanoid. That is what primate, our evolutionary trend and primate taxonomy, taxonomy means classification. Arboreal living on trees terrestrial living on land who are the primates living on land who are the primates living on trees primate taxonomy primate behavior what is the behavior social behavior sexual behavior dominance behavior behaviors of the primates why because these primates are not human beings so how their behaviors are there 
tertiary and quaternary fossil primates living major primates comparative anatomy of man and apes yes comparative anatomy of man and apes so what are the fossils present in tertiary time period quaternary time period this is one particular time period this is one particular time period so in this time period what are the fossils present in this time period what are the fossils present what is fossils the species which was alive once upon a time but today those are not alive means became extinct those are called as fossils so the fossils which are present in tertiary time period quaternary time period one time period is fixed here one time period is fixed here comparative anatomy of man and apes what is man what is my anatomy how my hands are there how my shoulder is there how my skull is there how my lower limbs are there how my upper limbs are there how my spinal cord is there how my foramen magnum is there compared to apes how ape hands are there how apes lower limbs are there how ape skull is there how apes forehead is there comparison we will be doing again within the apes chimpanzee baboon gorilla orangutan we will be comparing within them with man then skeletal changes due to erect posture and its implications skeletal changes so as man from quadrupedal slowly slowly he became erect posture then biped perfect bipedalism so in the process of becoming a bipedal what are the transformations which are happening in the human body this is the last topic of 1.5 so primates primatology evolutionary process of man and 1.6 mainly talks about the evolution of man phylogenetic status means who after who who after who who after who is called as phylogenetic status phylogenetic status characteristics and geographical where all they are present pleo pleistocene this is pleistocene hominids in south and east africa pleo pleistocene is a time period pleo pleistocene is a time period so in this time period australopithecines is present so the beginning of man started from australopithecines whether it means that before that man ancestor is absent no before that man ancestor is present but the evidences of man the evidence of man proper evidence of man that man came from australopithecines australopithecines is more accurate when compared to the fossils which are earlier to australopithecines that is what we will be starting with australopithecines then next stage is homo erectus next stage is neanderthal next stage is rhodesian man this is little bit controversial this is deeper we have to go rhodesian man then it is homo sapiens so australopithecines homo erectus neanderthal and homo sapiens this is a clear cut phylogenetic status of man how man evolved so biology of this person biology of this person biology of this person biology of this person culture of australopithecines culture of neanderthal homo erectus culture of neanderthal culture of homo sapiens what is the theory what is the argument what is the debate we need to know what is the current status of phylogenetic we have to make a diagram that is 1.6 1.7 this is of biology only this unit is biology unit the biological basis of life ninth class biology what is cell what is dna structure and replication what are protein synthesis what is gene what is mutation what is chromosomes and cell division mitosis and meiosis this is the introduction of biology which is part of physical anthropology 9 10 11 12 added to 1.7 so the basics of biology is in 1.7 here we will be understanding about the cell what is gene what is dna what is chromosomes what are cell division how mitosis division is happening how meiosis division is happening what is protein synthesis what is dna structure how the dna replication is happening means doubling of dna is happening in 1.7 Then the last topic of unit number one is 1.8. That is 1.8 clause A, which is called as dating methods. 
principles of prehistoric archaeology chronology that is relative and absolute dating method see my dear students if you see in the syllabus book like this and heading will be there that is not topic that is called as title of the unit this is called as title of the unit for every unit and subunit one such statement will be there this statement is not a syllabus topic it is title of the unit and the topics are relative dating methods and absolute dating method i want to give you the clarity that is the reason relative dating method absolute absolutely this many years back means this many years back a relative dating means somewhere around this time period that is called as the relative dating method before your grandfather and after your great grandfather that is called as relative he is from 1830 fixed is called as absolute dating method 1.8a which is part of archaeology which is part of archaeology in cultural evolution title of the unit broad outlines of prehistoric cultures very neatly properly with the diagrams of the tools hand axes chopper chopper tools clivers we have to learn this paleolithic paleo means old lithic means stone old stone meso means middle lithic means middle stone age neo means new lithic means stone chalco lithic chalco means copper and stone age in that way paleolithic mesolithic neolithic chalco lithic copper bronze age iron age these are the 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 phases of cultural evolution phases of cultural evolution of man this six phases properly we have to understand and for every paleolithic there is lower paleolithic again middle paleolithic again indian paleolithic again in the world as i told you yesterday in the lecture one paper one is general anthropology or world anthropology and paper two is indian anthropology so here in paper one general archaeology paleolithic mesolithic neolithic chalcolithic copper bronze age and iron age the next is second unit that i will be explaining you in the lecture 3 l3 so this is the explanation complete explanation of unit 1 of paper 1 i hope you gathered some information some knowledge thank you share the video like the video and subscribe the video and click the button on the bell thank you